Number one's pretty simple. We're gonna go down to number two. Number two, we've got x squared minus eight. I'm gonna take my first x value, negative four, plug that right there, or plug that in for x. We've got negative four times negative four minus eight. Who can tell me what's negative four times negative four? 16. 16 minus eight gives me what, Darius? Eight. Here you go. Thank you. So my x comma y, negative four comma eight. We want to plot that. We go four to the left and eight up. We make our first dot right there. So good guess. Okay, I want to show you on the right spot. Next input is negative two. Y is equal to negative two times itself minus eight. What's negative two times negative two? Four. Positive four. Positive four minus eight gives me what? Negative four. So now we got negative two, negative four, left two, down four. There's our second point. Plug in zero, y is equal to zero times zero minus eight. What's zero times zero? Zero. And zero minus eight is just negative eight. There's my y-intercept, zero comma negative eight. That's right, with some negatives there in the middle. We plug in positive two, we're gonna see that kind of mirrored effect again with my outputs. Two times two is four. Four minus eight gives me, when hope comes back, four minus eight gives me negative four. So now we got positive two, negative four. We can see our U shape starting to form. Last but not least, we plug in four. Four times four is 16. 16 minus 8 is 8. So like we saw yesterday, my first and last outputs are the same. My second and second to last outputs are the same. And my y-intercept is its own number. It's okay for us to have repeating outputs. We just cannot have repeating inputs. Over 4, up to 8. And we can draw our parabola like that. Is that linear or non-linear? Non-linear. Non-linear. Non Does that look like a straight line to you? No. Nope. We also have an exponent in our equation. So we know right away this is non-linear. I know it didn't ask that, but it's going to be a big part of our test is identifying whether we've got something that's linear or not. Questions I can answer round number two? Perfect. If we take a look down at number three, number three, we've got x squared minus five. So same process. We're gonna plug in negative three and multiply it by itself. Then subtract five. What is negative three times negative three? Well, what's three times three? Nine. 9 minus 5 is 4. Negative 3 up to 4. Boom. There's our first point. We plug in negative 1. What's negative 1 times negative 1? Positive 1. 1 times 1, right? Just 1. And one minus five gives me what? Negative four. Negative one comma, negative four, all the way down there. We can plug in a zero. Y is equal to zero times zero minus five. Again, we know zero times zero is just zero. And zero minus five gives me what? Negative five, think of that. 
is my y intercept right down there at negative 5. Plug in a 1. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 minus 5 again is negative 4. We're just following that pattern. Over 1, down 4. And we'll plug in a 3. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 minus 5 is 4. Whenever we have these parabolas, or these nonlinear functions, our first and last outputs will be the same, our second and second to last outputs will be the same, and our y-intercept at zero in the middle will be its own output. We could draw our parabola just like that. Oops, missed the point, but whatever. And there it is, something like that. Better looking than mine, hopefully. Final questions on 34 before we take a look at our study guide. Awesome. If you're all done with that, you can pass it up.